Oh, come back to this place. Don't drop. Truth the square. You already taught, had this dialogue with Plankton Man. Uh, thanks for trying to cheer me up, Patrick. But I still can't remember where I put the secret formula. Ooh, wait. How about the time we staged the fight to get you into the salty spittoon? Ooh, I like those show references. Could you use... Oh, could you what? Oh, just the dumb dialogue with Plankton that was going on. Who does he chaperone to prom? <laughs> Karen? That would be entertaining. Karen would be entertaining. So I guess we have little plot threads with each character individually. So I'll probably do all the Patrick stuff, then all the Sandy stuff, then all whoever else. I guess I'll have Squidward and then Mr. Krabs. And maybe someday complete Gary's side quest. I don't know, man. Oh, downtown Bikini Bottom. It's not really what I imagine when I hear Salty Bastoon, but okay. Ah, remember what I said? You're going down, Tubby. <laughs> Boss music? That's awesome. Oh. Oh, hey, here's that uh, slide music from the first from Power King Bottom. That's me shall receive, I guess. Oh, and now no more of that music. Awesome. So it's basically a giant <laughs> Mecha Patrick. Okay, there we go. I need to actually hit his belt buckle. And then probably hit him behind. There we go. Awesome. So I need to hit him from behind just like another game. I need to keep hitting him that way. Okay. We're in an intersection. That's interesting. It's kind of weird. Oh, hey, it's the ice cream booth from the movie game. It's kind of weird, though. Uh, seeing us actually like, in the city at the Salty Spittoon. Because that was not where we were at the show. At the show, it was just kind of in the middle of nowhere, wasn't it? It was kind of dumb, actually, now I think about it. There's like, no real backdrop against Salty Spittoon, as far as I can remember. Hey, there's a lighthouse. So, do I not want to touch this? I could probably slide on it a little bit. Come on. There we go. Can't complete any of the dialogue. Because we're going too quickly. There's that one... Um, what's with the jelly everywhere? Shoo. There's that one... Um, oh, hey. Police station. Awesome. <laughs> and they have police cars, which are actually from the second game. Or from the movie game, remember right? That's interesting, you see a combination of things that actually makes sense in this game together. You see police station but from Bikini Bottom. Not from Bottom, and then police cars from the movie game. It's nice. But there's this advert, there's this billboard I'm seeing up on the, one of the buildings. With a car, with a, well, boat I guess you'd say, not a car. Yeah, it's behind Patrick right now. Is that one from Battle of Bikini Bottom? I don't quite remember. There's something with cards on it, too. It's like you've seen or something. I don't recognize it at all, actually. Oh, I'm not trying to slide on the stuff. Sometimes I just can't resist doing so. There we go. I wish I actually had to hear this music during the fight instead of this silly normal music. Patrick, this is swell. You were great in that pretend fight. Uh, what fight? <laughs> Hmm. I, I kind of wish we still got to see Patrick beating himself up without being touched. That was probably my favorite part of that scene, but whatever. Okay, so what's with the irregularity of this rainbow that looks so off? It's so uneven. Hey. You get to see the... What was it? You get to see the lighthouse in the background. I like that. A hot dog. What? I actually don't remember... Oh, it's a green hot dog. Oh, it's because of the... Queenie. But I was trying to think of things that were inside the Salty Spittoon, even though we never saw the Salty Spittoon. I would have actually guessed it would have been an ice cube. The ice cube that Sundrop slipped on. That would have been entertaining. I can feel the happiness bubbling up! Ah! Oh, I, oh, I, I might even remember where I put the formula. Well? Well, it could be. Yes? Maybe it's the... Um... Spit it out, you square brain twit! I mean, friend. Uh, I don't remember where it is yet. No, oh, maybe I really am a weenie. Mr. Krabs is gonna fire me twice. Don't worry, SpongeBob. We'll make you so happy you'll remember the Alamo. I smell jelly. 
Mm. It's all throughout this game. Best friends a depressed sponge could ever have. Let's make me happy. That was weird seeing his gums for a moment there. Squidward's clarinet. Well, you would you, you think Squidward would call it any of those? Well, rather, two of the the first of those two things. Sure, that's not quite how you form a sentence. I don't remember which episode it was though, where you hear it called. Uh, I don't remember. I only remember that it happens at some point. Can you just like load and reel the answer for me, Clary? There you go. I don't remember what episode calls it Clary in though. To be perfectly honest, huh? There's Mr. Krab. So, do we want to do that yet? I think I might have more patch things to do. But first, I want to see if we can actually go up and Ahoy! do this whole Gary thing. Goes, kid. Man, Mr. Krabs' voice is weird to hear in this game because it's not normal Mr. Krabs. It's not his actual voice actor. Gary, why can't I improve your bed? I want to do so. I was able to do so earlier. Do I need to unlock your bed in some way? Do I need to do some kind of secret chain of events to make it appear? I find that unlikely. Anyway, so where is that? Mr. Krabs, please stop talking. So where's that weenie? I'm looking for the weenie. Is that a cake? It is a cake. Where are you, weenie? But I have weenies to find first. This is some interesting dialogue, I have to admit. Where is that weenie? Screen. I can't just mash buttons on random things and you'll suddenly get stuff. There's a pallet that's for some reason just float in there. And sometimes I don't think I saw it in his room, but would someone really keep a weenie in his room anyways? Unless the weenie is actually Where are you? Why is there just a picture of Mr. Krabs on my table in the middle of the room? But I want Unless it's in the kitchen, which would be weird, because I'd be unlocking things in places where I can't actually go yet. Previous level. Awesome. I'll take a look at that later. I might just go through all the normal levels first, though. Or, through all the levels once first. But is someone really going to keep a weenie in his room? I, mean, I, want, I guess I want to put it past him. But... No? I don't know what's up with this. That weenie has to be somewhere. I want to see it. I guess I'll just kind of assume that the Wii went into the th in here, like this area I can't access. It should be a weird uh, way of approaching the world, but oh, cannot any longer interact with that chest. Yeah, okay, sure. No, no weenie, weenie gone. The weenie never was. We have sandwiches, but that's not really a good substitute. I know, Patrick. I know I've been spending a lot of time doing nothing just now, but I want to find the friggin' weenie! Ah, whatever. Boy, stay on your toes, kid. Yes. The, the less you talk, Mr. Krabs, the better. You don't do a very oh, good impression. I guess we'll just... Oh, you made me happy. Okay, so actually we, we can't do anything more with Patrick. So I guess Sandy it is? I'll start off on a Sandy level. We're definitely not going to finish this episode or anything. Oh, it's already done. Okay, well, okay, never mind. So in that case, uh, I don't want to even want to start something. I guess we'll take a look at this place and see what's here. So I have different levels, with different things to unlock. So I have different acts. So we're gonna, I guess, when we do something, Mr. Krabs, we're gonna finish that this act. Yeah, actually, we already done with Act One. Interesting. Uh, so I guess we unlock more happiness objects. That, oh, I found Stupid Patrick in that level. So the game actually does keep kind of progress. Uh, how about we just actually... I guess for the sake of unlocking stuff so we can actually get into different areas, like this one, I should jump into previous levels and get more happiness objects, actually. So I guess we'll do stuff like that. So let's see if we can have some fun in the next five minutes with any kind of Tiki Challenge or whatever it was. Hopefully finding some new stuff, but actually we don't have all the abilities anyway, so that's one of the reasons I would want to complete all levels and then go through them afterwards. I guess I'll try out Tiki Challenge and then I'll probably wait... A uh, until I complete all the stuff to do it again. I wasn't even looking at the question. Heart shaped acorn. I actually legitimately don't remember that. Huh. Anyways, we've already done this. 
I know, don't need to repeat this stuff. Okay. So this brings me somewhere near a big challenge. If I remember right. Or does it just bring you for for the forward in the level? I'm not quite recall. I believe it brings the Tiki Challenge just off to the side here. It brings me to the Tiki Challenge. Yeah, it just has to bring me directly to it. Okay. Oh, dear camera! There you go. Oh man, you're luminescent. Am I sponge enough? I'm not quite sure, actually. Uh, looks like that's actually something I have to use the balloons with, the cannon attack with, which I oh, can't do just yet. So let's see what this brings for us. I see. So it's actually in the level itself. Let me just do stuff from here. Really awkward to rotating platform. I don't think I'm doing a very good job so far. If I hit multiple things simultaneously, that would help. I think we're gonna make it, actually. Okay, that definitely wasn't impressive, but I did it. Yay! Back. So that gets me a baby jellyfish. It's the Anthony Home de Decorations, so wherever that is. So I believe there was something else to do in here, though. I guess this all will be 100% complete, I think. If we can finish that. Wasn't there something to do up here? Wasn't this where we saw some kind of a uh, thing I could only do with? Yeah, that's a target there that I can hit. I'm not sure if I should... Looks like there's gonna be something else to do on this level later. At a later point once I actually get more stuff. But regardless, I think I can access the next Tiki challenge. Maybe. Wherever it is, there's... Box here. Should take me to the challenge. Was it in here? Where was that next week challenge? Oh, I was up above, wasn't it? Bah. So I need to get buff and then do something. Oh, uh, what was actually? Oh, here we go. I'll complete this one challenge and then I guess head back to the pineapple. See if there's anything. Interesting we can find. If we, soon we can actually find the baby jellyfish and whatnot, so we can find that weenie. Ah, camera, what are you doing? Stop that. Camera turns around all of a sudden. Actually, I think I need more buff up here, don't I? That's not annoying. I do. Darn it. I'm pretty sure the camera didn't turn around and make me get hit like that. Off we go. There's actually another box right there. There might not, I thought there was a Tiki challenge here though. If I went up a little bit. Maybe wrong. It's not completely clear to me how the box relate the boxes relate to the Tiki challenge. It looks like they bring you to the general vicinity of what you're trying to go. If you want to go to the challenges, but that's not completely clear to me. Because I thought there was a challenge that was up. on all these platforms, somewhere in the vicinity of this room. Yeah, see, here we go. So there's the tiki's tiki to destroy. Oh, that's what they call flying tiki's. Flying Benjamin tiki's. They're all based off of somebody, so that's why they're glowing, I guess. Shouldn't be too hard to destroy these as long as I can. Okay. The hard part here is I can't perceive my height very well. It's hard to tell how high I am compared to Tiki's. There you go. So that gives me a prize, and we'll head on back. I get bubble wand. Okay. So that's possibly everything there, but there's still more stuff I can see that looks like I should be able to do. Okay, seriously, this one's just a little bit dumb. I wish there was actually 
Patrick asking this question, that would be a lot more entertaining. It would be like a colorblindness test. I'm not sure where they're getting this idea of yellow being anywhere there. Anywhere on Patrick. Okay, so let's see if we can find the stuff that we unlocked, and if not, we'll just call it quits for today. But still, still no, still no weenie anywhere. And well, see, if I can remember to do so, I'll explore. In fact, I should be able to remember to do so pretty easily. So I'm just way to just save. But uh, I will take a look at the beginning of next episode. Oh, hey, Jellyfish, why are you just sitting on my house? Okay, cool. At the beginning of the next episode, I'll take a look at that area that I've opened up by getting a bunch of bronze memories, basically. No idea where that bubble on when. It might be in some place I can't access. Whatever. In any case. So guys, next time, next episode, let's play SpongeBob to the Square. Don't really know what the name of this game actually has to do with it so far. I can see it's more like a trip down memory lane type of thing. I don't know. Anyways. Bye, guys. Hagrid's always talking. My god. Bye, everyone. <laughs>